Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to another Truth for Today. I'm Pastor Mike, coming to you from the Lighthouse Baptist Church here in Seagrove. We hope today's devotion finds you doing well. We are taking our reading today from the book of Romans, chapter number 3, and I'll be reading verse number 26 momentarily. But for just a moment, let me bring you up to speed about what's going on in the chapter. In chapter 3 of the book of Romans, Paul is appealing to the Jewish Christians in Rome And he's basically reasoning with them uh, about what advantage they have as Jews. In other words, he's basically saying to them, do you think because you're a Jew of the seed of Abraham that you don't need justifying? Because he goes on in verse 26 and says this, to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, talking about the Lord's, that he might be just and the justifier of him that believeth in Jesus. So he's talking about the fact that uh, the only way to be justified, which means basically to be um, to be considered innocent or to have all charges against you dropped in God's courtroom, is you have to have a relationship with the one who was just or is just, and that's Jesus. Here's what you and I know. The law condemns us. The law makes everybody ever born of woman The law condemns us or calls us, teaches us we're sinners. The only way to go to heaven is to be without sin. Well, we don't have an ability to do that. However, Jesus lived on this earth for 33 and a half years and fulfilled the law to perfection. There was no no sin found in him. And then he died for our sins, which means this. When I enter into a relationship with Jesus, God now sees me through him And because he is just, God now sees you and I that are in him through faith as being justified. That is the only way that you and I can ever be marked as clean, marked as sinless enough to get into heaven, is we must have a relationship with the just one. So Paul here is teaching them, being a Jew will not get you in, just like you and I know that being A churchgoer will not get you in. Being baptized will not get you in. Doing good deeds will not get you in. But having a relationship with Jesus, that, my friend, is what gets us in to this place called heaven when we die. Hope today's uh, devotion will encourage you, remind you of a wonderful truth that it's not by works of righteousness that we do that we are saved, but it's because the righteous one, the just one, paid our penalty for us. And may may today be a day we ponder that, and may we praise him for it. He sure is worthy. I want to make sure that he gets some praise from my lips today. Hope today's devotion will encourage your heart, lift your spirits, and as always, may the Lord richly bless you is our prayer.